Hey, I'd like to talk to you today about ego. Three simple letters, yet life-altering. Ego is a sense of self. It's an illusion that creates a mask on our minds. Every religion out there preaches that ego is your ultimate evil, the destroyer of relationships. My awareness of egos within me surfaced during my career transition. The need to free up my time and do something meaningful versus a comfort zone with a steady income. Where is ego in this, you may ask? The ego surfaced with this thought. Once out of a job, until I get a steady income, I need to rely on my husband for money. You see, up until that time, I was getting a steady income. I was an independent woman for over 23 years. And moving from there to asking for money was shameful for me. So I struggled to make the decision for over two years. I worked on my ego. That was the first time I was conscious of its presence within me. My most recent example was when I was extending help to my friend running a workshop. I am a facilitator, a trainer, and I am open to learning new things. So when she asked me to join her uh, workshop as a participant, I said, why not? I said that from a point of helping her out. However, at the back of my mind, I had thoughts like, what is the new thing that I can learn? She is talking something that I usually teach my clients. I already know everything, ego. But my sense to help was much, much higher. So I went ahead with it. And believe me, I had learned so much about my own approach to my business. How many times I get off track, off focus, and what I needed to do for exponential growth. So the point is, the moment I recognized the presence of ego, I worked on getting over it. The outcome was true learning. The ego is always within us. It's good if it fuels us to move forward. If you are mindful about it, we can use it constructively. So here's a question for you. Are you aware of your ego? And are you using it constructively? Congratulations if you are. But if you're not, here is a three-step method for you to identify and overcome your ego. When did ego last appear within you? What did it make you do? What is the outcome of it? Awareness is the first step to any change. This could take you some time and deep work, but believe me, awareness of ego can do you a lot of good. It can help you control and channelize your behavior. Remember, letting your ego control you is a choice. Once you recognize the pattern of that choice, you can decide what you want to do about it. Our ego won't let us accept that we have an ego. Acknowledging and accepting takes a lot of courage. Assuming you're already aware of it, try to accept that your ego was the root cause of some destruction in the past, perhaps a relationship. You may resist or deny the existence of it, but try it, just for fun, just to prove me wrong. It's quite possible that there is a tension that is rising up within you at this point. Take deep breaths deliberately and release it. How can you use ego constructively? If you cannot, how can you let it go? Here, I suggest you to use the awareness you had in identifying at what point or situation did the ego rise up within you in the past? And what options do you have to work around it? Let me give you an example. In my case, I felt it rise within me with the thought of feeling shameful or embarrassed, asking money from my husband, or arrogance, learning from a peer. Since my thoughts are the root cause, Replacing those thoughts and changing my narrative is my action point. It's up to you to decide what you want to do and how you're going to use it. And as I say it all the time, if you cannot work on yourself, do take help of your friends or family members or your partners, whoever can give you an unbiased, non-judgmental support. You can do this best with guidance. I have used the 3A model, awareness, acceptance and action with many of my clients. Each stage takes time and some intense work to make lasting change. I hope it resonated with you. Let me know what you think about it. Leave a note in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do hit the like button and share it with your friends and I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself.